newspeak contextisms, is thought dependent on language. Part 1. Some say that without language, complex thoughts are impossible. Language is merely a means of communicating thoughts. Language has to have come from somewhere, doesn't it? Most likely someone thought it would be useful to communicate with their vocal cords and it expanded from there, proving that language is the dependent variable in the equation, not thought. Though language does not control thought, society, media, propaganda and other sources can manipulate and restrict it, but it is not possible to completely rid a society of chosen thoughts. Part 2 most agree that language is what makes humans capable of such great accomplishments. Both thoughts typically are formed from words, some are made visually and do not rely on language, like when you want to say something but are unable to put it into words. You may be able to able to comprehend an idea, however it would be difficult to communicate it, which would be at least an advantage to restricting the spread of such thoughts. Humanity's accomplishments were created in thought, so, except for those that include speech or writing, or would require the collaboration of many people, they would still be possible to create. Part 3. What Abo Text Mustiers? Similarly, textisms, the informal texting conventions and abbreviations, are derived from the correctly written word. As most people have an understanding of grammar rules and spelling before they even own a phone to text on, they will likely think of the conventional word before typing in a shortened version. This, in my opinion, actually helps to expand on word knowledge because a. Texters still frequently visit the correct way in thought, and b. They use linguistic skills in order to mentally abbreviate the word or sentence. In fact, there have been multiple studies done on a variety of ages of texters that tested their written and spoken language skills, then revisited them after a year of using common texting abbreviations and incorrect grammar. The results proved to show that the participants had better skills than after the first testings, demonstrating that texting doesn't cause a decline in language skills or restricts how people think. Part 4 are you concerned that texts are a modern frame of new or speak? No. Again, textisms come from the actual word. They don't have power over the way people think and therefore have no ability to restrict thoughts. So, as long as using the letter H in what isn't considered thought crime, or is it text crime, there isn't a connection between it and new speak. In conclusion, the dumbing down of language will not result in the dumbing down of the people who speak it. They can have wordless thoughts and ideas that, while not easy to communicate, will still be present. As is a common theme in 1984, the constant onslaught of propaganda and media is a much more effective method of directing a society's thoughts in a desired direction. Language is merely the product of thought and controlled by it rather than vice versa, and, as was proved in studies on texting, it will not become the dominant factor in the way people think. The End